I think I want tea. It's actually cold, so I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is giving me victory. Yeah. Now we're good. I got my tea. First of all, hey CK fam, this is your boy Clifford Che. Happy Thanksgiving if you're watching. If you're new, my name is Clifford Che. Thank you for coming to my channel and please make sure you subscribe or you're gonna feel right at home. There's a family here, CK fam. I should probably put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I know it's Thanksgiving, but um, I just wanted to kind of make a video. Today I had a video planned. If you guys have me on my social media, um, I asked you guys for video ideas and certain things you guys wanted to see. But um, I woke up today on a different side of the bed. I had a plan. The video I was going to do was things you should be grateful for, things you should be thankful for. But for some reason, when I woke up, I was in my feelings. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was in my feelings a little bit, but um, this whole Thanksgiving thing, um, I, it's not that I'm, I'm against Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I love the food that comes with it and everything, right? But I'm very huge on respect. Let's just put it like that. I'm very, very huge on respect, right? And the reason why I'm saying I'm very, very huge on respect is because... To me, the way I see Thanksgiving, or I'm not really here to really say the things you should be grateful for because I've, I feel like I need to check myself before I even check you. But um, if you can take anything from this, then you take it. But these are things that I'm sharing with you. This is kind of like a rant because I was kind of in my head and I'm still in my head and I'm, I'm speaking to you guys. The way I look at Thanksgiving is that I don't think we should look at Thanksgiving as, oh, okay, today's a day that I just want to tell you that I'm thankful for you. The people you love in your life, people you have in your life, the things you have in your life, even yourself, you should always be thankful for them or be thankful for yourself, not just on like in November or Thanksgiving Day, but every day. Because now what happened, the reason why I'm, I'm saying that really huge on respect and Thanksgiving ties up with respect is because if you don't show respect to pe the people that you're wishing Happy Thanksgiving on a day of Thanksgiving, the days that led up to the day of Thanksgiving, so it started from January to November, and you don't really treat them res respect, and you don't, your life does not necessarily prove that you're thankful for them. If you tell me Happy Thanksgiving, it's just gonna be like, okay, thank you, and that's it, and I'm not gonna mean it. Or if I if I come and tell you Happy Thanksgiving, I'm not gonna mean it. I'm growing to be this very, very respectful and honest person, which I do not wanna lie to you, but most importantly, I don't wanna lie to myself. And so, even though I'm very thankful, every year on Thanksgiving, I just tell people how oh, happy Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for you, I'm thankful for that. And to this year, it wasn't really like that. I, I just told the people who I was truly thankful for that I was thankful for them. And it's, it's not in a harsh way, like, oh, I'm not thankful for you and stuff. But we have to be very, very honest. You don't, you don't, you don't have to tell everybody happy Thanksgiving. But I want to make sure that if I'm doing it, it's coming from my heart and I truly mean it. So with that being said, it was... When I had a plan, like I told you guys, I was going to make this video about things you should be thankful for or whatever. I'm going to tell you guys things I'm, th I'm thankful for. So that if you are thankful for, you can drop it in the comment section. In the comment section, let me know the things you're thankful for. But So first of all, I'm thankful for Jesus Christ because if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, if it wasn't for his grace, I would not be here. Because I know that when I check my life just this year, from January to now, I'm not worthy to be here. I'm not worthy to be his child. So first of all, I'm thankful for Jesus Christ. Second of all, I'm thankful for myself. The reason why I'm saying I'm thankful for myself is because I don't spend so much time appreciating myself. And I do a lot. Besides of the negatives, I do a lot of things that sometimes I feel like I should appreciate myself and celebrate myself. And I don't do that. So I'm very thankful for myself. The third thing I'm thankful for is my family, my parents, my friends, my relationship. The reason why I'm saying that is because, is I can't really name names because it's a lot, but I'm thankful for that because if it wasn't for my parents, first of all, I wouldn't be here. I'm very, very, very thankful for my mother, for my dad, and for my family, my lovely family back home in Ghana. I really, really appreciate my family, uh, my friends. God has placed me around some amazing friends in my life, which I want to bring them more on my YouTube channel as time goes on, but God has removed people that wasn't supposed to be there to place people who are meant to be in my life. So I really appreciate the people I have in my life, my relationship, my beautiful girlfriend. I appreciate Mariama so much. You guys already know that, but I really, really do appreciate her. I'm thankful for her. Third thing I'm thankful for is the fact that I have a place to live, a place to sleep, close to where, and shelter, shelter, period. Because sometimes we just go through our day not thinking, 
you know, being grateful for the things we have, but it's people that really don't have the things that we have, like, easily. The things we complain about, it's people that don't have that. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for the opportunity to go to church and have a church to go to because if it wasn't for the church, when, when I go through certain things, I wouldn't know where I'd be. And so sometimes it's best to be just in the church environment, even when nothing is working out, even when I don't have it all figured out, just to be in the presence of God is amazing. So that's one of the things I definitely, definitely, like, I'm thankful for. Now, with that being said, I think I'll wrap it up. But today I'm going to eat, though. I'm going to eat. As you're going through your day today, kind of think about it. The little things. See, I'm not really trying to be thankful for money and all the big things I have. No, no, not that. I'm thankful for the little things that normally we don't thank God for. The fact that you have full health. The fact that you're living. The fact that you're watching this video. You have internet. You have Wi-Fi. You have a computer. You have a phone. Whatever it is, be thankful for that. But for me, I didn't want to check you. I wanted to check myself. And I wanted to kind of let you guys know how I feel on this Thanksgiving day. The biggest, biggest thing I want you to take away is that Thanksgiving is not just a day for you to show people that you're thankful. Thanksgiving is a season. Your lifestyle should prove that you're actually you're actually thankful for the people and the things you have in your life. And so that is why I appreciate my friend Fatu very so much because she started this thing on Instagram when, when November started. She was posting people that she's thankful for since the beginning of November. And that is amazing. And you don't have to post somebody, but just live it. If you're really thankful for the people that you're saying you're thankful for, let your actions prove it. Respect. Don't forget to be blessed, be yourself, and be happy. And also make sure you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Eat up and yeah, see you soon. Peace. All the days of my life I praise you. Everything that I have now you gave to me, Baba. <laughs>